Hello, my name is Lee Bauman. I'm going to be reading the preface from my revised 2013 edition of God at the Speed of Light, The Melding of Science and Spirituality. The Preface As with many of my readers, I began formulating questions about life at an early age. My brothers and I grew up with a great respect for my parents and were raised under the influence of their beliefs, including religion. As children, we accepted these beliefs and attitudes without question. With the protection extended by their sustenance, shelter, care, and love, our parents led us to believe, with equal faith, that God would extend to us the same courtesy. As I entered adulthood, questions arose which caused me to question these doctrines and to search for a verification of these ideals with my changing attitudes. As time progressed, I developed a great respect and appreciation for the tenets of scientific research as experienced by my education in biology, chemistry, pre-med, and finally medicine. Questions continued, however, relative to God, miracles, including those I witnessed firsthand in my medical practice, and the apparent infinity and design of the universe. My admiration of medicine and the incredulity of life led me through a natural progression to investigate the nature of humankind and its role in the universe. The theory of evolution was one of the first stepping stones in this developmental process. Unfortunately, it also represented one of the greatest obstacles to my religious heritage. I would ultimately learn that the questions this theory inspired were only part of a normal path of spiritual growth. Little did I know that I was passing through a normal phase of my own religious development. Many questions continued unanswered through the succeeding years, which now found me preparing for my graduation from my medical residency and inauguration into the world of medical practice. At about this time, I read and was mesmerized by Raymond Moody's bestseller, Life After Life. This dealt with the descriptions of patients surviving what came to be called near-death experiences or NDEs. This was my first reading of a scientific attestation of a phenomenon which, though indistinguishable as depicted by the victims from supernatural occurrences, could not be arbitrarily dismissed by the scientific community. I felt spiritually rejuvenated, but lingering doubts persisted. I had previously noted my awe with the surrounding universe, such as when I viewed the nighttime sky. The universe appeared infinite in its dimensions, and I was convinced of the insignificance of humanity. I questioned whether the human race had a true purpose in such a world. If a supreme or design being really existed, why did he not make his presence known? I felt like an orphan without a father. Of course, I was not alone in these thoughts. I was vaguely familiar with Einstein and his theories of relativity, including the relationships of energy to matter and light. That is, E equals MC squared. How could energy with the work and heat associated with the various forces and matter be just another form of the same thing? I decided to familiarize myself with this concept. E equals mc squared soon led to my introduction to quantum physics and quantum theory. Around 1980, I was intrigued by Nigel Calder's introduction to the theories of relativity presented in simple layman's terms. Following this fascinating journey into Einstein's life, I pursued more on the subject in the strangely titled The Dancing Wooly Masters by Gary Zukav. This book initiated my research of the new physics as a possible scientific window that might unite many vague concepts of science and religion. I read more and more and more. Quantum theory dealing with explanations of everything from atoms to black holes, seem to have irrefutable support from the scientific community. 
In addition, I was struck with the fact that many of these scientists believed in God. It appeared that their profession often enhanced their belief in a designing being rather than diminishing it. My own plunge into quantum theory convinced me of God's existence and verified many of those religious doctrines that I had called into question. Concomitant with my study of quantum theory, the scientific literature began to reveal evidence of the failings of the theory of evolution. The evidence was mounting. Scientists have, over the last many years, been making slow but steady progress in revealing the true nature of the universe, including the confirmation of design in its character and the importance of our species. The scientific evidence in support of a designing force as the prime mover in our universe is becoming extensive. In contrast, there is a great paucity of supporting literature available to the lay public. It is evident that history, as well as my own spiritual growth, have come full circle. As late as the mid-1900s, religious attitudes were supported mostly on faith. Over the succeeding decades, acceptance of the theory of evolution and ongoing scientific research appeared to refute many religious dogmas. However, over the same period of time, the popularization of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity and the subsequent acceptance of the Big Bang Theory began to gain the attention of the lay public. Quantum physics has recently evolved to support the creation of the universe from nothing. The story of Genesis in the Bible, free will, and some supernatural phenomena. In addition, the inexplicable characteristics of light have incredible comparisons to God. Lastly, the soul has gained scientific credence as portrayed by Moody's near-death revelations, quantum theory's proofs regarding observation, and the exceptional status of humanity in the universe. As I first verbalized in response to the initial reviews of this book, I am not a religious fanatic. Rather, this book represents my attempt to avail this extraordinary information to the general public. The information presented here is inspiring, fulfilling, and should provide answers to many of the questions that we have all sought on life's many mysteries. Note, since the initial publication of God at the Speed of Light in 2002, this book has been blessed by several notable endorsements and commendations. Joan of Arcadia creator Barbara Hall cited God at the Speed of Light as one of the physics books that inspired her to produce her popular television series. There is no doubt that this book has also favorably impacted the lives of many others. In a time of such religious diversity, the scientific concepts detailed in this book offer a refreshingly objective bedrock on which to build or strengthen any spiritual foundation. Love remains the key to our humanity. Lastly, I have made major revisions from the first edition, primarily to ease understanding for the average reader or a non-scientist. Thank you.